Then the skate park has had a chequered history, but now a dedicated team of skaters is partway through its refurbishment. Step one of the new work is going to be um, to finish off this fence. We're going to have some more crossbars up the top, and then we're going to put in our Perspex style uh, shield, which will stop uh, sea spray and wind sort of knocking you off your board when you're skating. Along here, we're going to have a, a 40 foot grind wall um, that steps down, so you can have beginners up to um, pros, I suppose. And uh, that's going to have a metal edge, so it's not going to degrade, but it also acts as a, as a sea defence to stop the waves coming into the park. What's going in here is a, a retaining wall, which is going to stop debris, um, as it does, falling down and coming onto a park. The retaining wall that's going to go in there is probably going to be um, two, three feet high. We've got our project manager, John Baldry, who's basically going to crack the whip and tell us what to do, and we'll be doing it. Um, all the volunteers will be building the wall here. We hope to get it finished in the next four to five weeks. One skater who's been involved with the works is Toby Booth. Yes, really good. I've helped out a little bit, and like feels good to know that future skateboarders are going to enjoy it, and so am I. Well, I've come here since I was little, since I was about 10 years old, so about seven years. And it's always the first place I ever skateboarded. This is where I sort of almost grew up. A second fundraising CD has now been released, featuring many island bands. On the new CD, we've got a few this time. We've got 53 tracks. We have a track from the legendary Mark King, Level 42. He's given us an unreleased track. With there being 53 tracks, we could have people from all over. I think maybe Volume 1 was more Venter based and this one was a lot of Venter people but we, we, we spread it out to the whole of the island. This time round it's a, it's a triple CD. We, we used the original ones from Volume 1 and then we trawled MySpace and Facebook and we're looking for new bands as well. White Light Orchestra, Gareth Ike, Hugo Frosselinki, Electromagnetic Workshop, Shankland Freak Show, The Operators, Goodbye Stereo, uh, I say The Peas, The Wild Oats, The Chancers. Cooley Hayes, Julio Peculio, Jackson Analog, who also uh, produced the CD. Uh, yeah, they, they didn't realise it was going to turn into a triple CD, um, but bless them, they did it. They, they spent a lot of time doing it when they, when they were still in uh, works constructing their new studio, so bless them for that. Thanks, guys. We managed to get a track from a guy called Alex Mole, who is a, a British skateboard legend, who's not technically from the Isle of Wight, but he's been there a few times, and he sent us a track called Brooklyn Rain from LA. And uh, he's a he's a big name to get on there as well. We approached the Winter Garden again to, about having Transitions Volume Two launch night there, and uh, they helped us out again. They gave us a reduced rate on hire. Yeah, we had some fantastic bands there. We had a few technical problems, <laughs> as people who there will be aware. But yeah, it was great. We had uh, the Waxworks, the Shoots, Electromagnetic Workshop. Cooley Haste and Julio Peculio. Then we had DJs playing in between the bands and the crossover. But we had more bands up for playing that we, than we could let play, unfortunately. It's been amazing, everyone's been, they've given up their time for free, but I think it's been good, it's been good fun. Live the rock and roll dream. Woo!